So, I've kind of had this question for a while, and that is, what do all of the towns from Skyrim look like in Arena? So if you didn't know, Arena actually contains every province in Tamriel. You can see here, you've got Skyrim, Morrowind, Cyrodiil, which here is called Imperial Province, I guess they didn't name it yet. And you can actually go to all of these. They have different, slightly different environments. Uh, Imperial Province, what's interesting, because I was thinking about... They only have the Imperial City in the Imperial Province. But if we go back... I think that's back? There we go. If we go back and we check out Skyrim, we've got Whiterun, Dawnstar, Solitude, and so on and so forth. Although Markarth is not around, neither is Morthal. Morthal isn't here, and Whiterun is a little bit to the southeast. I think it's normally more like here, but you've even got... I thought you had River, yeah, Riverwoods to the southwest, which it shouldn't be. So, I wanted to show that, and actually... Let's go to Riverwood first. I think that's fitting since it's the first place you really go to in Skyrim. Well, Helgen is, but you don't see Helgen. Something weird about Arena is it's got this really weird fog that tends to be over everything a lot. Um, I don't know why it has that. But this is Riverwood. Um, a lot of the towns on this game, they look very generic. You know, one doesn't really look much different from the other. Sometimes if you change provinces, like I I know I've been to the ones in Elsewhere because I was pretty curious about that. They're very deserty looking, like the uh, buildings are made of brick or sandstone or whatever. So if we go here and press my map, my small map, it actually tells us we are in fact in Riverwood. And something about the towns is obviously this looks nothing like Riverwood from Skyrim. Everyone knows what Riverwood and Skyrim looks like. It's a small village. Even the locals describe it as a small village. But as we can see, it's quite a large town here. A lot of space to walk around. It even has, at least I thought it has, a full, here we go, it has a full proper wall to it. It's not just a little, um, not just a little nothing. So with that, the other thing about Arena is you can kind of fast travel to wherever. You don't have to have discovered these places. So um, we got here Amol, or Amol, which is actually Fort Amol from Skyrim, but that's just one of the forts. Uh, I just wanted to show the major ones. Now, these don't have, even like the bigger towns, the bigger settlements, have nothing. Like the only one I've ever seen someone put on YouTube is White Run. I've seen. Whoops, got a. There we go. The only other one that I've seen people put on here is uh, White Run, but they don't look anything like. I mean, it's dark, it's nighttime, and you can't actually wait. You can't actually just wait till day. It's called camping. In the snow. Oh god! Go away. Yeah, monsters in this will kill you very, very easily. Do I have? No, I don't have any healing spells. But, as you can see, Whiterun, everything's very flat. It doesn't really look, um, you know, there's nothing as far as hills. Even if we look at our map here, our local map, you know, you got a little bit of water here. But, like, the little streams that go through Whiterun aren't there. Dragon's Reach isn't here. There's nothing that actually looks like Whiterun except for a rat that's following me. Die. Die. There we go. Um, but yeah, nothing actually looks like Whiterun here. There's no distinctive landmarks. So then if we go to... Let's go to Solitude. Solitude looks, again, nothing like Solitude. In fact, none of the provinces do. They None of them have any resemblance. So, you know, this is Solitude here. Um... I really wish I would arrive at one of these places in the daytime. But see, the buildings don't even look the same. They're not even in the same places. We look at a map here, you know, Solitude kind of has like a big main open street with buildings on either side. And then it kind of has like a little elevated part up here. Then like an arch, you know, you know how Solitude looks in regular Skyrim. 
in uh, the, the game Skyrim at least, it doesn't look remotely the same. There's no blue palace or anything of the sort. But there is a ghoul that's attacking me. Oh god. Or a goblin, whatever they're called. Another interesting fun fact, I mean, I'm playing it as an Argonian right now. You can't go in third person and zoom out. But another interesting thing is that Khajiit, for some reason, look like humans in this game. Like, if you go to play as a Khajiit, you'll look like a human. Oh yeah, we also have another one, which is considered the major city, called Snowhawk. Otherwise known as Fort Snowhawk. Um, Dragon Bridge is here. Now you have Markarth Side, which is not in the game Skyrim. I'll just show you what that is. It looks nothing like Markarth that we know. As we can see, but one thing I, th I do think is really cool is we have all these, like, stained glass windows on some of the buildings. I think that's really cool. It's also kind of cool how Skyrim in Arena appears to be a lot colder. All around Skyrim, everything is just colder. I believe this is a shop. Okay, no, it's some kind of church. I haven't played Arena much. I only recently got out of the first dungeon. Um, but we can see here that obviously this is not Markarth. It's not on the right place on the map, and it's not called just Markarth. It's called whatever they were calling it. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, so if we go to... We can go to Windhelm. City of Ulfric Stormcloak, although obviously this is well before he even existed. A couple hundred years before he even existed, if not more. Windhelm looks nothing like it. Uh, again, it is snowy. I guess you do kind of have the mountain in the background there, like you do in Skyrim. But there is no <clears throat> uh, Palace of the Kings. And... It's funny because... I looked up, I don't have Elder Scrolls Online, but I've seen other people play it, and I know that Whiterun and Windhelm in that game look the same as they do in Skyrim. And I know that game actually takes place, chronologically, it takes place before Arena, so that's a can, uh, canonical representation of the city, presumably, given the fact that it's newer. So I'm going to guess this is just non-canon or something? I don't know, I know that the whole scaling with uh, Elder Scrolls is kind of weird, because obviously it doesn't really make sense to have, you know, White Run or Solitude being like the imperial capital in Skyrim, and it's really just the size of a small town in real life. Uh, that's one thing I will have to say. I do have to say that these towns do feel like place people, even though they look generic, they feel like places people might actually live. But as you can see, this really looks no different from, say, Falkreath, which I'll go to next. Which Falkreath in this is huge by comparison to Skyrim. So if we go to Falkreath. Falkreath is pretty... Finally I got into a day with good weather. Took long enough. But Falkreath, as we can see, is pretty big. Um, it's not the tiny, you know, backwater town that we all know and love it is this big city which is kind of neat I kind of like how old games from the 90s just looked like this with you know the very basic colors the um, the very boxy look it's got a bit of a charm to it I mean that's nice like that could be a nice screenshot right there but yeah so this is Falkreath so next We've got, where have I not gone? we got Whiterun. Dawnstar is another one that in Skyrim it's pretty small, but in Arena it's pretty big. I wonder if they'll ever create like a lore explanation for why they are the way they are. I don't know what these things are. They look like statues or something. They don't attack me. But they look like they would. Oh no. Did I die? What's going on? I guess I fell in the water. That was a weird sound effect to be... So yeah, this is Dawnstar. You can see here on my map it says Dawnstar. And uh, 
Dawnstar was the one that had, like, the ships, if I remember properly. And it had, like, a little, uh, dock. But it does not have that here, as we can see. Now if I go exit this, and I can go check out Winterhold. See it before most of it fell into the sea, which would be nice. I always thought Winterhold was kind of lame in Skyrim. It, it seemed like something they just didn't have time to develop altogether, and oh, it is foggy. Okay, well at least it's daytime, because the civilians are out in mass. But again, we, I mean, we even look at the ground, you can see through the fog, it's green. So that's interesting. It's not in the middle of a constant blizzard like the Skyrim Winterhold is. Which is weird, because I said earlier in this that um, most places were actually colder in Skyrim. The cold is definitely emphasized a lot more. So that's Winterhold. Uh, what else haven't we done? I saw Riften earlier. But let's go there. Just to, uh, check it out. So we have the gate. And originally, if you remember, the gate in Skyrim Riften actually looks similar to this. So I thought maybe we would have some kind of resemblance. But nope. It is not the same. Which I really like these, uh stained glass windows. I wish they would put that in Skyrim, or the next Elder Scrolls. Now, there's, there's like this weird giant maze here, of like hedges. You can see on the map it's a hedge maze, but again, there's no Riften Fishery, there's no uh, Golden Glow Estate, there's no little marketplace in the center, there's no anything like that. No Thieves Guild in here. Uh oh, I'm being hit by some... Oh god! Okay, and I'm going to with you die. Get out of here. Gonna have to reload my last save because I got burned. Just turn that off because I don't need that. So other places I haven't yet explored. What we got? We we did Dawnstar. We did Solitude. Did Winterhold. Windhelm. We did. White run we did. So we did all the major ones. Let's see if there's anything else I recognize. Carthwaston is in Skyrim, but it's just a little nothing. It's just like a mining town. It only has like two or three houses in Skyrim, so I guess we could go there. Right, I keep I keep going to double click it. Obviously I don't play Arena that much, but Okay, so Carthwaston is normally like three buildings. It's also not this snowy normally. And all the towns seem to have gates around them. Oh my. Just wandering around in the snow. Yeah, Carthwaston is not normally this snowy. Okay, so it's got a big gap, you can see. It's called Carthwaston Hall for some reason. But again, it's interesting, because as far as I know in Elder Scrolls Online, all the areas of Skyrim that are depicted in that are all the same or similar or very close to their counterparts in the Elder Scrolls V. So, hmm, what do we got? We could go to Dragon Bridge. I think, I think this is going to be the last one. We'll go just go to Dragon Bridge and call it, call it a night here. Got a Got a well. And this is Dragon Bridge. A lot of these a lot of these stained glass, I know I mentioned that before, but wow, I like the stained glass. But again, it looks nothing like the actual Dragon Bridge. And according to the map, there doesn't appear to be a Dragon Bridge at all. So that's kinda interesting. What's in here? Nope, can't go in there. So yeah, that's kind of it for this one. So, just wanted to show off all the locations, all the major locations from Skyrim in Arena. So yeah, subscribe for more, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.